here. Sending in some math homework. It's about 10 years late, but hey, it was a tough assignment. <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, I came by to see if you wanted to go out for a ride with me. Really? Huh. That dream car yours is sitting right out front. Where should we go? Up the highway, for the sights, or over to the mall for some pizza? The only place I'm going is down the hall. You don't want to come out with me? No. More than anything, but I can't. Why not? Got detention. Marty, my teacher accused me of cheating. Jess, wait. Jess, they gave you detention because of homework you handed in? Yeah. And they accused you of stealing. What, did they think you handed in someone else's homework? No, no. That I stole it from a book. Play jar or something. That's what Miss Warden said. Oh, good old Alcatraz Warden. That's right. He said you had it when you were in school. Well, she gave me detention because of my report on Fanny Mendelssohn. What? How could she zap you on that? It was good. Right. She thought it was too good. Oh, Jess, and you worked so hard. Marty, she thinks I copied the report out of a book or something and that none of it was mine. It was all yours. Miss Warden said that there was no way I could come up with all those ideas. Then I could never come up with it all by myself. Well, I wish I hadn't. Hey, smart stuff, look at me. Is the all-knowing Mrs. Warden still in her classroom? Marty? What are you doing here? Drop by to give Jess a ride. To do what? Kevin, leave her alone. Look, everything's fine, Jess, okay? Don't worry. Look, Marty, I don't know what your game is here that you're playing, hanging around my sister all the time. It's no game, and it's not all the time. Whatever it is, I don't get it, all right? And Jesse doesn't need it, so do me a favor and just stay away from my sister, all right? All right, I'll leave Princess Jessica alone. Kevin, Marty, please stop it. She should be spending time with more upright, respectable people like her cousin Powell. I'm out of here. Well, I'll meet you outside, all right? Hey. Jess, wait, hold on a minute, Jesse. How could you do that to Marty? You practically chased her away. What are you doing here anyway? I came here to give you a ride. I, I know I don't usually do that, but I've been worried about you with all this stuff about mom and dad getting a divorce. Worried why? Well, I know you've been having a hard time with it. Says who? Actually, Marty told me. She did? Yeah, so I decided to, to give you a ride. Well, if Marty's such a big help, why'd you make her leave? Kevin, she's my friend. It wasn't until you showed up. Jesse, look. Marty Saybrook has a lot of problems, okay? And I just, I don't want her to give you the wrong impression about things. Come on, we'll talk about it in the car. I'm not going in the car. I've got detention for two hours. You do. All right, well, then uh, we'll talk about it when you get paroled. Okay? Okay. See you later. Marty, you're still here? Yeah, what? Do you think I'd bail out on you so easy? Forget it. We're friends. Remember? <laughs> Wish I didn't have this stupid detention. I want to go on that ride so bad. Maybe you won't have the detention. Tell your piano students to breathe into their ankles when they play. Marty Saybrook, is that you? <sighs> Sometimes I wonder. Uh, Actually, I'm surprised you remember me, Ms. Warden. Oh, forget the one student I had who could take on the Chopin Mazurkas in the fifth grade and make them sparkle? Never. You used to sit on the very edge of the piano bench. You were so eager, so excited, as if you literally were going to dive into the music. I did, didn't I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Look, 
can still see your face the day your aunt pulled you right out of class in the middle of the school year and transferred you to boarding school. That upset me terribly. She did send you off to boarding school, didn't she? Yeah, she did. So, how are you? What have you done with your music? I let it go. I mean, why bother with the hassle of practicing all the time? I would never have amounted to anything. As not as a pianist. You're wrong, Marty, and it makes me very sad to hear you say that. Yeah, well, I really didn't come here to talk about old times. I wanted to talk to you about Jessica Buchanan. You know Jessica? Well enough to know that she did not plagiarize that report on Fanny Mendelssohn. <sighs> Marty, Jessica is a very sweet girl, but she has neither the aptitude nor the interest in music to have written work of this caliber. She did write it. I'm sure, because I was right there when she first started getting interested in doing it. You should have seen her. Her eyes got brighter and brighter the more we talked about it. And you know what? She was sitting right on the edge of her seat, ready to dive in. She worked like crazy on that paper. It's just so rare for a student to turn in this kind of outstanding work. <laughs> as rare as making the mazurka sparkle. Ms. Warden, Jessica's catching on fire maybe for the first time in her life. Don't punish her because you're not used to seeing her shine. That is the worst thing that you could do to her. What else can I say to get you to give Jessica a break? I think you've said all you can say, Marty. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just... A Come over here, young lady. Jessica. I'll ask you again. Is this report your own work? Every word. Then I'll have to go read it over again. I think I may have misunderstood some things. I apologize. This is a wonderful paper, and Marty's been telling me how hard you worked on it. Does that mean she doesn't have to go to detention? Marty, you always were a stickler for details. No, Jessica. You are excused from detention. I don't believe it. You got me out of detention and you actually got Alcatraz Warden to say she was sorry. You're incredible. Thank you so much, Marty. It's no biggie. I just got her to see you the way I do, that's all. That's a lot. I love you, Marty. 